Elliot works around the screen. Elliot, top of the key with Elrod. Back over to Moore. Moore's got the baseline hit, but Moore goes all the way, lays Ooh, it in. That was nice by Brody. Nice drive off from the short corner to the hoop. 5.55 left, first quarter, 5-2. Bulldogs lead over to Henderson. Henderson, they go top of the key to Malone. Taking away Brody Moore the steal. Brody, fast break, three on one. Brody, spin move, lays it in. Ooh, Justin, that was a nice spin move. Four points for him. Brody, the back the other way. Back and got down inside the paint. Tough jumper. Get it to go in. Brody was six points early on. That was uh, averaging nice. 17 and a half. That was a nice little teardrop. That reminded me of Mark Jackson with the Knicks. It was on the other way with Moore in the corner. Moore works on the screen. Back to Jaden Kent. Top of the key. Jaden fires the deep two. No good. Rebound. Brandon Howard. Howard back outside. Eric Moore works on the screen. Brandon Howard inside. Great give and go pass Ooh. inside. Brandon yes, Howard. Yes, that was that was a great give and go, Justin, right there. They they teamed up on that. And we needed to, we needed a bucket. Over to Brody Moore, works on the screen, under a minute left. Back over to Kent, Kent drives hard to the paint, goes up, under, got it. Ooh, that's a nice reverse layup right there by Jaden Kent. Jaden with two points, 16-10, Geraldine leads with 45 seconds left. They drive, back out they go, loose ball, picked up Brandon Howard, Howard the other way. Howard stops, goes up, lays it yeah. in. He's got four points. Lopwell coming off the screen, Brody Moore, three, way too much. Rocket gets the rebound, blocked. Guess who's there? A.J. Elrod right, back in. Right, he gets a rebound and a bucket. That's the way to do it. Yes, sir. 16-14, Geraldine leads with six and a half left. Flipping back to Henderson. Henderson leads, scores for them. Henderson hard to the paint, blocked by A.J. Elrod. Going to go out of bounds. Back to Aniana. It goes. Good job by A.J. Elrod. Extending yes. that arm as much as he could to get blocked. Yes, he could. And, and, and he didn't swing at it. He let the ball come to him. So that was a, that was a perfect block right there by, by A.J. Elrod, the senior. Tip pass. Brody was there to get it. Brody hard into the paint. Floater. Ooh, Ooh, that's a tough that one. He gets was, yes, yes, yes. But that nice little teardrop, Justin. That nicely just fell right on in there. He has half out of Adiana's points. It's 18 16. And they'll run the set now because they go against his zone defense. Back over to AC. Back over to Moore. Inside Kent. Nothing there. Back inside Brandon Howard. And Howard, his third right. bucket in the paint. One two pass score. That was beautiful. Comes on the other way, up to Eric Moore. He's in that right corner. Moore being tightly guarded. Inside Kent. Kent goes hard to the paint. Lays it yeah, in. Good job by Jay yeah. Kent. He's got four. That now, was a beautiful play. And on the their first lead here in the game, 20 to 18. Moore, Elliott, right side to Moore. Back over to McCary. McCary looking to drive inside the paint. Nothing there. Back out. Kent. Moore, top of the key, a three, got it. Yes, sir, that was much needed three right there. He's still extend this lead to four points. He's got 11 points, it's 23-19. They get a nice basket and then get the ball back. Elliott inbound to Moore. Moore wide open for a three on the inbound. Ooh, you can't leave him open no, right you now. you cannot. you got to be on Brody because Brody get a step, he going to shoot it. 14 and knock points it down. for Brody Moore, 29-21, the senior taking over. Kent now comes up with it and they'll run Brody off. The ball, he's in that right corner. Kent drives, nothing there. Back over to Brody. Brody fired a three. Brody was feeling it, missed it. Howard got the tipping to win it. Ten seconds left. Over to Jaden. Kent, nothing there. Back to the left side, Moore. Drives inside, stops, lets his guy go by, fires it, got it to go in. 33 23, and that's going to end the half. Elliott with it now. The right wing, back to the top of the key, he goes. Calling out some commands. Over to Bothwell. Bothwell back to Kent. Kent. Elliot works off that screen. Elliot, mid-range jumper. DeAndre nice. Elliot, you know who that reminded me of? Who's that? Destiny Elliot. Oh yeah, big sister taught him that. Yeah, I'd say so. That was bottoms up. The largest lead of the game now with 12. Brody Moore, it's almost a backcourt violation. <laughs> Moore over to, to Elliot. Elliot, great give and go. Back out they go to Kent. Kent drives it down the paint, loses it, loses it again. Back to Elrod. Just inside, he missed. Rebound landed Bothwell. Bothwell pump fakes, goes up, goes in, no good. foul, but he gets yeah. the bucket. Kent tightly guarding him. Shot put up, errant shot. Here comes Moore the other way. Moore, they're pushing that tempo. Brody goes all the way, stops, kicks it back out. AJ, he thought about a three. He'll drive, spin move, all the way to the paint. AJ, go my, oh, number 12, AJ. That was a nice spin move, and oh my goodness. AJ Elrod. <laughs> 39-23, Aniana leads it. Moore, looking to drive, tough floater, missed, tipped back in. I think that was actually tipped in by Laramie by McCurdy, yeah, but okay. the bucket will go to Brandon Howard. 42-23, Brody, tough drive, easy bucket. Uh, he He's coast to coast. That was coast to coast right there, Justin. 
Now they'll go back out to Moore and run the set. Moore with it near side. Moore works around that screen, give and go to Howard. Howard up and under. 12 points for Brandon Howard. Another assist for Aniani. 46-23 with 326 left. Taken away, AC Rocket on the steal. Rocket, other way, one-on-one, -on -one, goes up, foul to go to the line to shoot two after missing it. That was great anticipation by AC Rocket on that, uh, to get in the passing lane and come up with that steal. Loose ball on the ground, picked up, Rocket. Rocket over to Eric Moore. Moore looking to make something out of it, goes all the way. There's another coast to coast, Justin, right down the middle. 48-23. Moore the other way. Moore to go to the far side corner. Elliott with it back to Kent. Kent bounce pass Brody Moore underneath the basket. Brody goes up, miss. Howard there for the rebound and lays it in. Geraldine inbound, loose ball. Geraldine somehow comes away with it. Willoughby at the free throw line, drives hard to the lane. Jaden to the block. Here comes Ani out of the other way. Brody looking his eyes. Brody looking to get something inside. Turnaround jumper up, no good. Rebound Kent. There it is. Put it in. The Redskins are owning this, the, the uh, offensive boards tonight. They are owning them. 14 point lead. Here comes Kent the other way. Kent hard to the glass. Jaden Kent. Lucky oh, for him. He's got nine. 58 42. 215 left. White taken away. Still Brody Moore. Brody goes up. Lays it in. Nice. 21 for him tonight for the senior. 60 to 42. Back out to Brody Moore with 118 left. Brody so close to getting by his guy. Inside to Kent. Kent back to Moore. Great give and go, Brody Moore. 23 tonight for the senior. You said it, Justin. That was perfect give and go from the senior to, from the junior to the senior. Pendleton comes up with it. To Jacob Green. Green drives back out. Rocket. Rocket at the free throw line. Comes back out to the wing. 40 seconds left. Jacob Green drives. Tough shot. Got it. Go. No, he will not go in. Comes back out. Rocket. Baseline over to to Johnson. Jalen Johnson, the big man, coming up with it. Big 6'6", six, six, got, got his numbers in the book tonight. He's got two. Here comes 65-42. Final shot missed. Rebound Johnson, and that's going to do it. 67-44 is the final as Aniana moves it to 3-0. Uh, Welcome back into the MPE Heating and Cooling Broadcasting booth. Justin Gibbs, Nate Butler, Aniana. Winners tonight, 67 44 to move to 3 0. Here on the early season, Aniana will be back in action tomorrow, 345 Redskin Radio Network. And they'll be taking on uh, Asbury here at West End here at the Thanksgiving weekday classic, whatever yeah. you, you want to call it. Joining us now, though, the head coach of the Aniana Redskins, uh, Brandon Cruz. And, Brandon, that that we we mentioned a couple times that magic number seems to be sixty. <laughs> you guys, I think you, you reached it again tonight. But uh, let's go back first half. Kind of another rough start for you guys. But I, I'm still I'm so impressed with the composure of your, of your team. Your guys, they don't get they don't get rattled. It, it seems like, and, and y'all stay coarse, and, and things start to start start to fall. Defense starts to get some steals. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, you know, that's three games in a row, like you mentioned, that we've gotten off to you know a slow start. Um, it just takes us a couple minutes to kind of get settled into the flow of the game. You know, I thought uh, Geraldine played great in the, yeah. in the first quarter. Yeah. Um, they came out and they punched us right in the mouth. We took their best shot. Um, they guarded us hard. They knocked down shots. You know, we had we got good looks. Our shots didn't yep, yep. fall. Their shots were falling. Um, so we just kind of stayed the course and weathered the storm. There was nothing X's and O's. We changed. Uh, there was no magic potion. We sprinkled. Um, <laughs> we, everything just kind of settled in, and, you know, we, we started making plays. Well, uh, one guy that, that played great tonight, you know, coming in average about 17 and a half was, was your, your senior leader in Brody Moore and, and dropping uh, 23 to 9. You know, second half, he started to have that look, and, and I mentioned it with Nate. It, it was, I, I guess you could say it was like a LeBron James kind of look. Yeah. He has that look to take over a game, and wow, did he. Uh, I thought absolutely his best game so far, the three that we've played. Um, obviously has the ability to score the ball and score a lot in bunches. Yeah. Um, but I told him tonight, what I saw was really, really good, solid point guard play. He never, he never looked out of control. He never, you know, he never played faster than what he was capable of playing. Smooth, uh, he played fast, but then he could play slow, changed his pace, 
um, got us in the right offensive sets, completed passes. It just seemed like he always made the right play, which a lot of times is the, just the simple play. And he just looked, he looked like a really, really good point guard tonight. You know, now where we have the advantage is, you know, he's a point guard who can direct the offense and complete passes and, and play that style while getting you 23 along the way. Um, so, you know, obviously we're very fortunate to have a player like him. You know, coming in, their, their big guy, Laramie McCurdy, he, he's a force inside. And I felt early on that's where they were kind of beating up a lot. but. I feel like you're starting to wear them down as the game progressed with especially you have the ability to go 10 deep easily and you really wore them out. And, and I'm hoping that that's the case. We start, we're starting to see that trend develop while we get off to slow starts. As we get into the second and third quarters, that's where we've been able to kind of create some separation. And I think that goes back to our ability to rotate in 10 guys. Uh, you know, obviously their, their big was a really good player. Yeah. Um, but when you're able to throw a Jaden Ken at him, then a Brandon Howard, then a Landon Bothwell, then an A.J. Elrod, then you're coming back with Jaden and, you know, you're keeping fresh guys on him. You know, there's four of us guarding him with one of him. You know, we've always got somebody fresh. So, you know, eventually over the course of the game, that takes a toll, you know, and it works to our advantage. So, Coach, uh, we sat over here and we watched the slow start, like you said, but the, the, the patience I, 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 I'm, I, I like seeing that, that patience that y'all just, nothing ruffles your feathers. It's, you get off to a slow start, we're still here. We, and, and then when you, when you start to find those shots, those, the, the layups started to fall, those easy tip-ins started to come around. Uh, and you started to chip away at that, at their lead. And once the Reds got the lead, Geraldine didn't know what to do after that. That the, 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 the defense was was I like to use the term stifling. Yeah. Because it was hands in passing lanes, denying the basketball, just doing those little things that 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 help you win games. Yeah, um a couple things there. Um, you know, you're talking about, you know, I feel like we're becoming a confident basketball yeah. team. Um, we've got talented guys, we've got guys that know they have the ability to um, to be special. And so luckily now that we've got three games under our belt, we've, um, we've made enough plays that we can now play with confidence. Yes. You know, there's no such thing, as, there's no magic pill you can give a kid to nope. make him confident. You know, we talk about your confidence comes from your results. Yeah. You know, I can, tell, I can tell you all day long that you're a good shooter, but until you see that ball go through the net, that's when you're going to believe it. So we're, play, we're starting to become a confident basketball team. So even when we get off to a slow start, we know that we, we're, you know, we, we've done good things before. We have the ability to just kind of chip away and get back in it and settle down. Um, you know, so that, that's been really good for us. And that's and that's good to see good basketball playing at Aniana again. It's, it, there was a, a, a drought for a few years where there were double-digit losses and, and the kids were looking sad and, and dreading for basketball season to come around. I don't see that now, Coach. I see smiling faces like right now they up there having a good time and enjoying this win, and that's what basketball is about. I think one good, one great example of that, Jalen Johnson comes in fourth quarter, grabs a rebound, puts up a, a basket, gets it. The whole team on, yeah. the, on the, yeah. the sideline is yeah. jumping up. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to see that. And, 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 and to be honest with you, that's what we're trying to build. That's the atmosphere we want to create. Where we talk about the most important thing you can do in our program is be a good teammate. Yeah. Um, you know, it's got that's got nothing to do with wins and losses. It's got nothing to do with how many points or rebounds you have. It's all about being a teammate. Um, and so, when you can get outside of yourself and the team, your, the people on your team become the most important people. You know, there's two types of people in the world: you and everybody else. Yeah. And so, when you're putting the attention on other people and what can I do for somebody else, you know, good things are starting to happen. You know, you mentioned um, smiling faces. You know, the coach in me. There's constantly things that we can work on. Immediately, as soon as we went in the locker room, you know, after a big win, we go in the locker room, all right, well, what's three things we can work on? All right, immediately. So, you know, we're not we're not coaching for November 20th. We're coaching for February 20th. There's always ways you can find to improve and work on and kind of progress as you go. But then we follow that up with, guys, enjoy it. You know, those wins, they don't, they don't hand them out. You don't walk through the doors of a gym and say, okay, here, here you go, coach, here's your win. You gotta go earn it. 
And so while we're going to constantly find things to work on, at the same time, we're going to enjoy each one of these too. Yep. Um, you know, it, it's sure. fun to watch. You know, you walk in the locker room and a get, you know, guy like Landon Bothwell is smiling from ear to ear. You know, three and zero, coach, three and zero. You know, that's you know, it, it's good to see them just enjoying it and having fun, and you know, just kind of just enjoying the ride. And then that's that, that's like you said, building that confidence. The more wins they get, build that confidence. And I noticed one thing tonight, coaches, that the that they're playing as a team and they're looking to get everybody involved. And even though the play is design, maybe designed for them, they'd be like, okay, I'm going to give it to you. And there's a couple of plays that had turnovers, and I, I know you didn't like that, but I saw that they were just trying to, to get – get their teammate involved and get them in the, in the scores book. That kind of goes back to that confidence that, you know, not only the more plays you make, you become more confident, yep. but your teammates become more confident in you too. Yes, and so do. it makes you want to share the basketball. Yeah, there in the fourth quarter, um, we, we slowed the pace down a little bit and it was on purpose because there's going to be times this year when, you know, you're up eight with three minutes to go and you've got to kind of grind out some possessions. And yep. so, you know, we can practice that all day long in practice, but until you actually get in a game setting, that's the only way you're going to improve. You know, and so there was a little bit of frustration there at the start of the fourth quarter because they're wanting to go fast, fast, fast. Well, good basketball teams have to be able to play at different paces, yep. and there's going to be times where you have to slow it down. Um, so, we, you know, after a rough little start in the fourth quarter, we kind of – you know, got settled back in, and uh, we, we started to play good basketball again. Well, tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, we'll be back here at 345 against a, another good basketball school in, in Asbury, and uh, what should we expect tomorrow night with Asbury? Um, to be honest with you, um, what to expect from Asbury is going to be a lot like what you saw from Geraldine. Um, they're they're going to play hard. Um, they're going to get up in your face and guard you from sideline to sideline. And then offensively, they're going to space the floor. Um, they're going to have five guys on the floor who can shoot it and dribble it and pass it. And it's going to be a good test for you know our defensive positioning and the, our ability to contest shots and rebound the ball and play under control. Um, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to see how we bounce back because Geraldine and Asbury are almost going to be mirror images of each other. Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming on as uh, Aniana winners tonight, 67-44. They moved to 3-0. We'll see you tomorrow night. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Enjoy the coach. Yep, thank you all. We'll be back with more here on the Redskin Radio Network.